When a vehicle arrives in your bay on a hook with a starting or charging issue, it's very easy to get fixated on component replacement. But there's a lot more to starting and charging systems than just the starter, alternator, and battery. And the root of your problem very well may be in the electrical wiring and connectors that supply power. You'll want to check for corrosion of connection points or broken or frayed wires, including on the ground side. So why is that? Well, it's because of the relationship of voltage and resistance have with each other. Ohm's law tells us that an increase in current across a resistance will increase a drop in voltage. So if we have a thief or an unwanted resistance within a circuit, we will lower the available voltage. And in a high amperage circuit, like that of a starter motor, a little unwanted resistance will make a big difference. So let's take a look at a simple starting circuit. Voltage is supplied to the starter motor via the positive battery cable. And I think we can all agree that a starter motor circuit has a high current load because of the work being performed. So even a small resistance within the battery cable or a terminal end can create a significant drop in voltage. And that drop in voltage may mean the starter motor will slow down or not work at all. And simply checking for powers and grounds, but not testing a loaded circuit can cause an incorrect starter motor diagnosis. The same could be said with alternators or any electrical load within the vehicle. As technicians, it's important to pull off the blinders and keep the full diagnostic picture in focus to understand the physics involved and be as accurate as we can be. And if you find yourself in need of some rotating electrical components, take a look at the line of Duralast Gold new starters and elevators. 100% new units for optimal performance. I want to thank our friends at AutoZone for sponsoring this tech tip. And until next time, thanks for watching.